Hello everyone, welcome back to Ilfo Corfix. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to edit modern neon light image editing in Photoshop. I will show you how easily you can create this awesome editing with your own image. This technique is very easy that no matter if you are a beginner at Photoshop you can easily create this editing. Just follow all my instructions and watch carefully the video until the end. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, not just subscribe also press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications of my channel when I upload new tutorials for you. So just be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's start today's tutorial. Now we are here in the magical world of Photoshop. I have downloaded all the images that I need to create this neon light editing. If you like to download all the images for practice, just check the link in the description. Now first, we have to remove the background of the model image. Because we will add a new neon background of this composition. Now usually I use a pen tool or quick selection tool to select the subject and remove the background. But today I will show you a very good method that will select your subject and it will save your time also. For that. First go to the select, and selection and mask. Now you can see it overlay with red. Yours might not be the same. To change it, go to the view. And here you can choose any of them. I will go with overlay. And you can adjust the opacity too. Now take a quick selection tool. And select the model. Click and drag the area you want to select. Now you can see it's select the model so easily. But we need to make some adjustments to the edges of the model. You can see the edges of the hair. Go to the left and take a refine edge. Now refine the hair edges. Also check other areas that need to refine the edge. But I think it will not need. In case everything is fine for me and the edges are perfectly selected. You might need any adjustments you can do it for you. Also try with the adjustments slider in here. Then select the output as a layer mask and hit OK. Now we just remove the background of the model. Now we need to crop the image in a size. Go to the toolbar and take crop tool. Take 4 by 5 ratio size and then adjust the crop size. You can choose any size for your image. I am going with portrait size for my editing. Then we will add background. Now I have downloaded some images for background. If you like to download all this background, you can just check the link in the description. Now go to the second image document. Unlock the layer. Take the layer, and paste it to the main composition. Place it to the top. Take the layer to the background. Then press Ctrl or Command plus T to open free transform. And adjust the background with the document. After that, hit OK. Now you can see we add a neon background to the image. Next I will add another neon background to the image. Go to the third image document. Unlock the layer. Take the image, and paste it to the main composition. Place it. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to open free transform. And then adjust the image size. Now you can see it's cover out the background image. We just want to apply the neon ring to our composition. So just change the blending mood into lighten. You can go with scree, but I am going with lighten, because it gives the image more realistic look. You can experiment with your own image also. Press Ctrl or Command plus T and adjust the model image a little bit again. Next we will give the neon effect to our model. To give the neon effect and match the model with the neon background. Go to the adjustments layer, 
and take gradient adjustments. Now for default the gradient is solid to transparent. Yours might be different. Click to the gradient. And then double click on the left side point. Change the color. You can go with any color. But I will go with cyan. Then click to the other side of the gradient. And then change the color into magenta. Again you can go with any color you like. Now you can see it doesn't supply the color because of the transparent. To fix that, just select the top point of the right side, not the bottom point. Select top point and then increase the opacity. Now you can see it supplying the gradient that we make. Then hit OK. And change the angle into zero degree. And after that, hit OK. Now we will apply clipping mask the layer into the model layer. Press the right button on your mouse, and create a clipping mask. After that change the blending mood into overlay. You can go with soft light, but in case it's not looking good. So I go with overlay it makes neon more blended with the background. Next take the brightness and contrast adjustments. Then press the right button on your mouse, and create a clipping mask to the model image. Then adjust the slider to give more contrast to the image. It will make the image more good looking and blend it with the background. Now, this is ok. If you like this editing and happy with it, you can stay with this editing. But if you like to go more further and give the image more elegant looks, you can go to the next step. I will give the final touch of this image with camera or filter. First, Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E to create a snapshot of all the layers. If you are using a Mac, you need to press Shift plus Command plus Option plus E. Convert the layer into a smart object to work non-destructively. Then go to the Filter, and Camera or Filter. Now you can see the slider to the right side, we will add the final effect using this. Now play around with the slider and see what's make better for your image. First, increase tint. Then increase contrast. Also increase highlight. Decrease shadows. Also, decrease whites. Decrease black also. Add texture to the image, clarity a little bit. And then increase the vibrance. After that, go to HSL adjustments. Adjust overall color with luminance and saturation. Follow my steps to adjust it. We will target the specific color of this image and then adjust it. After that we will add some smoothness to the model skin. To add that go to the details. Then increase the amount. And then increase the luminance. Adjust it properly to add smoothness. Now you can see it adds smoothness to the model skin. Now we will add a vignette to the image. Go to FX. Then just decrease the amount. Now I am happy with the adjustments. Hit OK. Then press Ctrl or Command plus 0 to fit the image with canvas. Now you can see the final composition. We create our modern neon light effect image editing after applying the camera raw filter. Let me know in the comments which one do you like most. Let's see the two images final output. Now we are done. You can see we create modern neon light image editing in Photoshop. I just show you all the steps to create this effect so easily. And I would love to hear some words from you, and which one do you like most? And if you want to download all images of this composition for practice just check the link in the description. And if you face any problem let me know in the comment section below.
I will try my best to help you. And if you have any request video, you can also leave it in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video if you liked my tutorial. Also, you can check out my other Photoshop tutorials on my channel I hope you will like also. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel. Not just subscribe also press the bell icon, so that you might never miss any of my new tutorials when I upload. So be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. That's it for today, see you in my next tutorials. Till then, bye. And the most important thing. Keep learning.